Hey guys, Darren Golden from Golden Solar. Thanks for checking out today's video. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to show you guys a brand new Tesla product. This is fresh in the market. This is the Tesla Backup Gateway version 2.0. Arrived at my house yesterday straight from the mothership, aka the Tesla Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada. So just got it yesterday. We're going to be unboxing the Backup Gateway version 2. We're going to be uh, showing you guys my current uh, Tesla and Powerwall setup. And I want to talk to you guys about why Tesla Powerwalls are so special and show you the Powerwall uh, Backup Gateway version 2 and, and what's so unique about it. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get to unboxing. This is it, this is the Tesla Backup Gateway version two. You know, basically, I, I wanna just say what is a Tesla Backup Gateway, right? So you have solar on your house, solar, uh, you know, when the sun shines, you're producing electricity, you're using electricity, and so you're, you're using your solar power instead of buying grid power. Normally, you're constantly buying and selling energy with the grid. This is a grid-tied solar system, so you're grid interactive. So during the day, what that means is you're gonna be overproducing power, and all that extra power that you produce has to go back to the grid. At night, of course, there's no solar power, so you're gonna take it back from the grid, and you have a net meter from your power utility, which does all the math. Basically, they measure how much you've given them and how much you've taken back. Now, that's all well and good as long as the grid is working, as long as the grid is functional. But what happens is when the grid goes down, uh, your solar system has to turn off. That's called anti-islanding. And so in Florida, that might be because of a hurricane. In California, that might be because of fires and the utility turned the grid off. But the grid is not always going to be on. At some points in time, the grid is going to be off. And if you have solar and your solar system has to turn off, that kind of sucks. You're like, why can't I at least use uh, you know, my solar panels when the grid is down? So, so the answer is you can uh, you know, have the ability to use solar when the grid is down, but you need two things. You need batteries and you need a method to disconnect from the grid. So this backup gateway uh, 2.0, also backup gateway version one, is the method of disconnecting from the grid. So, so that's basically what a Tesla backup gateway does. It shuts off the grid. It sends the signal to the Tesla power walls that the grid is down and to start sending power over to the house. And, and then the home can stay on, use its solar power, keep the solar inverter on and stay safely disconnected from the grid. So the, 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 grid, the, the power on the grid can be out for weeks even at a time and it's all good. It doesn't matter because you've got your own little power bubble. So let's check it out. So this is it. This is the actual backup gateway. Pretty heavy, but not like crazy heavy, kind of manageable. There are no instructions in this box. Why are there no instructions in this box? This is not meant to be sent out to just anyone. You're not supposed to buy this, read the instructions and figure out how to install it. If you don't know how to install it before this comes to your house, it should not be going to you. It should be going to your solar contractor. So this is the cover panel of the backup gateway. This is quite beautiful. This is white glass with, uh, you know, the, the, the basically the same look as the actual Tesla power walls. So what's so cool about this is that we can have the power walls installed and the Tesla backup gateway right next to them and it's all kind of a matching uh, aesthetic in, in the product family. So this is the cover and uh, looks pretty nice. It's got the film on so we're gonna install it and then we're gonna peel it off. This is just a electrical box, just like any other electrical box that you can buy in any uh, hardware store. Uh, but because it's Tesla, it's gotta look freaking good. So this is, you know, this is the coolest looking electrical box I've ever seen. You know, that's, that's the beauty of how Tesla does, does their products. They look damn sharp. Well, uh, installation of the Tesla Backup Gateway version two is done. Came out super clean, really happy with the result. 
installation actually probably took a little bit longer than expected because it turns out it's harder to uh, take a, a backup gateway off and put on a new one rather than just putting one on for the first time because you got to make sure that the conduit holes line up you're working around your existing wires rather than running the wires after the fact but it's done nevertheless and uh here it is super happy with it nice and uh solid it's uh connected with four tap cons tapping into uh the block wall right here so uh, i just want to take a moment and talk about some of the differences between this and the original so the first thing you can see is that it's got this uh, beautiful tempered glass um, similar to the uh, Tesla car charger, the new car chargers. It's got the tempered glass and then the box itself is a nice uh, black powder coated box. Also on the top, it doesn't have these uh, communication antennas, whereas the old one had those communication antennas. Also the hinge to open it up is really cool. It's this really nice, really classy hinge and it's got that very satisfying click when you close so you know when you close it it's closed on uh, on the inside we've got these rubber gaskets that create that watertight seal so that water doesn't come in 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 the event of raining so that's on the aesthetics other than the aesthetics uh there's a communication so it has monitoring uh built in integrated into the backup gateway so we don't have to install the clamps after the fact uh, the way we, we did with the original and so that's a faster install. That's a smoother install. And um, it's, it's built actually by uh, the monitoring devices themselves are actually built by Tesla, not by a third party. Uh, so what that means is higher accuracy. Um, I'm told that it's 0.2% accurate and that's really set up for revenue grade metering. So that means that in the future, we may see some cool stuff like virtual power plants uh, coming by. That means buying and selling, uh, you know, battery backed up energy with, with the grid as needed. So we can get some secondary functionality out of our batteries beyond just having uh, backup power. So other than aesthetics, uh, the other major improvement is that this is compatible with adding an, an electrical bus bar into the panel. So we see these six slits right here. That's if we wanted, we could put a bus bar here and actually have breakers installed right into the backup gateway. The, uh, the original backup gateway didn't have place to add bus bars uh, and, and, and breakers. And so the original installation required a separate box uh, like the one that we have right here which is where we have our batteries and our inverters uh, terminating. But by adding the uh, option to add those spaces right here, in theory, we could have added the batteries here and the inverter here instead of having a separate box. Incidentally, I didn't end up moving those over here. Number one, it was already installed and it was just more work than I really cared to do on my backup gateway upgrade. But the other thing uh, is that we have six spaces. I have three power walls and one inverter each and, and they're all uh, split phase. So those would have required eight spaces. But most of our installations are two power walls and one inverter. So this would have been perfect for that. Uh, other than that, we've got some flexibility. Uh, because there's also a connection right here to uh, connecting non backed up loads. In other words, the customer doesn't have to have everything backed up. And, and that's kind of counterintuitive. Uh, and, and I think that that's really cool. I think that that shows how much thought went into this. You know, the original backup systems before uh, Tesla days, uh, before Tesla Powerwall days, had a really limited amount of backup capacity. And so then people were forced into thinking, what are the loads I want to back up? What are the loads I can live without backing up? Then, uh, because of Tesla's AC coupled batteries, we have the ability to back up everything, a whole house. What the, what the improvement there is with Backup Gateway 2 is that we can actually hand pick loads to not back up that are still connected uh, right here. And so a great example of why uh, somebody would wanna do that is imagine if you have a uh, pool heater and you know that that pool heater uses a lot of electricity and you know that you still want it connected to your home's electrical system because you still want to use your pool heater under normal circumstances but in a backup situation pool, heating your pool is the last thing you want to do number one it's already probably pretty hot outside number two you want to use the backup power that you have to reel loads uh, even your air conditioner but not necessarily heat a swimming pool well we have a solution for that now we can now add the swimming pool on the non backed up uh, side of it 
And then the final thing is that the optional main breaker connection for, for folks that don't already have a main breaker uh, outside with their setup, we can now add a main breaker into this and it's a more flexible main breaker instead of the one in the original. So that's a really nice application if the house is building ground up and you can actually use the backup gateway as your service. In other words, it, it, you would have just a meter enclosure. Main breaker would be right here built in to your backup gateway. And then from there you can have two outputs, one going into the distribution panel and everything that is being backed up. And it's gonna be connected on the backup side, which is right here. And then two, your non-backed up loads, which are optional. And then you can have your two power walls and your inverter landing right into there. So it's, it's really a beautiful system. It's a beautiful design, tons of flexibility. It matches the power wall aesthetic. Tempered glass now also matches your electric car charger. So we're very excited to start uh, getting them installed for our customers.